I'm Marvin Ferguson, that drywall guy. I want to talk today a little bit about how drywall screws actually hold drywall tight against the framing. Um, typically what you have is a regular drywall screw gun. It has its clutch, it's got a clutch inside so that when the, the screw is pushed into through the drywall and it reaches the right depth, the, the clutch disengages and it doesn't strip the screw head out or the actual Phillips bit at the end of your drywall screw gun. Um, so when I put pressure on the wall, that pressure pushes the drywall tight against the framing. And then the screw is spun in, and when it reaches the preset depth, the head is released and, and, the, and the Phillips bit pops out. So that's how a drywall screw gun works. And this is a tool made specifically for that. It's really not a drill. It can't really be used for anything else. Um, so what I want to show you today is a tool that will make any drill into a drywall screw gun. What it is, is a little tool that actually attaches to the end of a drill. So you just um, secure that into the end of your um, battery powered drill and now it will work in a very similar fashion to the drywall screw gun that I showed you earlier. It's actually got a clutch inside of it and the head of the dimpler is very similar. So as I push the drywall tight against the framing, the screw is set and when it gets to the right depth, it just releases even when the drill is still running. So you're not stripping out the screw head and you're not stripping out the Phillips bit at the end of the dimpler. I'm going to just show you how easy it is to use. You simply just place the screw right where you want it push hard and when it reaches the right depth it just automatically releases and you got a nice screw that is perfectly set. Um, a perfectly set drywall screw is set just below the surface of the, the paper surface of the drywall um, but it's not so deep that it actually is torn the paper and the dimpler sets the screw perfectly. Let's say that I determine that I don't actually want this screw here. I need to remove it for some reason. The dimpler is a tool that can also be used to extract tools or to set them deeper if you needed to. All you have to do is give the dimpler a little twist and it will lock, lock the, the main frame of the dimpler down and exposing the Phillips bit. So now it no longer is I'm going to just set the screw. I can actually put the drill in reverse and remove that screw. Now if I want to put it back in, I simply twist it again and it pops out and now I can reset the screw. The dimpler is a high quality tool that is really going to last you a lifetime. The only thing that could possibly wear out on it would be the actual Phillips bit. And that is removable. Just take a pair of pliers and pull it out and replace it with a brand new Phillips bit. I find the dimpler to be a really useful tool, like it, particularly in this situation. The drywall has already been hung. I'm just basically going through making sure everything is fastened properly. I found some screws that weren't set deep enough. I found some screws that were misses and some areas where there were no fasteners. I needed additional fasteners. So just having the dimpler attached to my cordless drill, very handy for my walkthrough, cleaning up, making sure everything is fastened properly.